that the incumbent president is going to continue for another 10 years. There is no clause. This is all propaganda and hype that is built around to poison the people's minds and to deviate them from looking at the real facts. Because at the end of the day, who are the people who suffer when we have these po political problems? It is not the elite. It is the masses. Who are the people who are denied resources when we don't deal with these issues of inequity? It is the people, not the elite. But somehow now, you will now want to blame poverty on that class as opposed to that class. Instead of dealing with the fundamental root cause of the problem, which is providing resources, giving opportunities to every Kenyan equally and fairly, you want to now make it an us versus them because it's an easy campaign platform, right? To propel an individual to victory as opposed to dealing with the underlying problem facing a nation. So, ladies and gentlemen, all I can say is it is unfortunate. Uh, I am a person who has always respected the rule of law. I always told you, and even when they said, Uko, uh, that we are going to take, I said when I was uh, vying for my very first time, that regardless of whether I'm chosen by, or elected or not elected, I will still obey the uh, International Criminal Court. I don't speak what I don't mean. You have seen, I proved myself. I was elected, and I still appeared, because I believe in the rule of law. When they went out and they said my election was null and void, I accepted, moved on. And even this one, I will accept and move on. I don't agree with it because I believe we have denied Kenyans their resources. We have denied Kenyans equity. We have denied funds to go machinani through the ward fund, which to me is actually a much more equitable way of ensuring mtoto wa mashinani ameweza kupata elimu ya university kuliko CDF. Alright? So this is what Kenyans have lost. I, Uhuru, have not lost anything. Just the, 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 the feeling of, 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 of sadness that we could actually, for political reasons, deny our own people something that would have not only improved their lives and livelihoods but made Kenya that much more a cohesive society. So um, in terms of uh, where do we go from here, well, I'm not the only proponent of uh, these changes. I will not give up. I always believe that uh, one must fight for those things that he believes in, whether in office or out of office. 